Okay guys, so I'm back and this time I'm of course going to be reviewing the continuation of the last episode of Star Wars Rebels, which in the last episode, just to quickly recap, uh, Ahsoka sent our friends, the Rebels, obviously to go find the clones that have been, uh, you know, pretty much in hiding from the Empire. And we found out that Wolf was kind of uh, not exactly to be trusted. Well, this picks up there and uh, now the Empire knows where they are and they're going to send a pair of AT-ATs to take on the clones and the uh, predecessor vehicle they have there so it's really a match of old versus new and that carries throughout this episode um when you really look at it you know they make uh, comparisons between how the clones are now old and obsolete and how the stormtroopers are you know the new hotness over at the empire how they don't really need the clones anymore and how they're pretty much all but dead uh now i really like that aspect that they play with that but in this episode, there was a whole lot of interplay between the Rebels, and especially Kanan, and his still reluctance to actually trust them. Uh, and obviously with what happened to him, what happened with the Clone Wars and everything that happened, you know, when they turned, he still has a lot of doubt in himself. But not only in himself, he has a lot of doubt in his teaching still, and he's kind of, you know, trying to be overprotective of Ezra, who's really interested in you know, in what's happening with the clones, and he wants to bond with them, but he's still reluctant to trust them, which is really great throughout this episode. Um, so we see his character arc, you know, take him to actually trusting them more, and actually, it there's a point in the episode where you have to watch them both back to back, or try to at least remember where he refers to them as clones. And there's this moment in the episode towards the end where he refers to them as flesh human beings and you know he decides to help them and it's this small little nod that really elevates the episode more than you know i thought i was going to grade it up until that point because it really shows you the character growth he's had and during the episode you know you see all the times when he's talking to them or where they're planning uh how he still has self-doubt in him as a leader and that kind of reflects in his obvious you know relationship with everybody there so i thought that was really uh well played. Now, the other thing in this episode that they play up with is the introduction of a new Inquisitor. Now, it's of course not the one we got last time, it's someone brand new, so we still don't quite know what these Inquisitors are and, you know, what their deal is, but, you know, there's a lot of speculation going around, and it's probably going to get, you know, fleshed out a little bit more in the uh, upcoming episodes, but overall, this was a really great episodes there's a lot of great action i mean you know it, like the set pieces in this were just phenomenal it was great to see you know how they could really take everything bring it just all around it was great to see the clones really interacting and really get fleshed out probably more than they ever did in the uh clone wars that they got real character arcs here and that they had to overcome you know so, so everything felt really good uh this might be one of my favorite episodes in the series so far if you really combine the two. So I'm going to give this one a 9, 5 out of 10 and highly recommend it. So thank you for watching the video. And if you guys like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, check out some of these other great videos we have on the channel. Just click the annotation right there. It'll take you to them. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a good one.